What's up my peeps, I'm here with another WWE Supercard video, so some of you might not have believed me when I said I was going to post it up on a more regular basis, well hey, here you go, another Supercard video. Now it's a little later than I wanted to, because I wanted to post this up earlier, but the servers for Supercard were down, so I had to wait until the servers were back up, and thankfully they're back up now. And also, uh, something else to keep in mind, the My Career video for today will be posted up right after this Supercard video. So, uh, first off, I've got two things to talk to you guys about tonight. Uh, the King of the Ring, so an update on the King of the Ring, it's done. I'll show you guys what happened, if I won or not, and what I won, because I didn't see it yet. And also, the People's Champions Challenge. So, we're going to go ahead and check the upcoming PCC, which is taking place in seven hours. It's going to be Brock Lesnar. Hold on a second. Brock Lesnar! versus Seth Rollins and then after that we're gonna take a take a look at the King of the Ring reward that I got so let's go ahead and check the upcoming PCC and you know what I'm happy about this and the thing is like a few months back the reason why I kinda took a break I guess from Supercard it, it was kind of because of the PCC uh, the last PCC which was the last one I played in Hogan versus Andre it just took so much time, you know? Well, every PCC takes a lot of time if you're trying to get up, you know, on a high rank. Like in the 800s or, or below or whatever. And it that, I guess that just turned me off. I was like, Come, this is too much work for like a freaking card. <laughs> but anyways, now I'm back. The people wanted the Supercard videos back. And I'm, bl I'm back to playing Supercard on a regular basis. And also posting up the, the videos on a regular basis. And if you saw the last video I posted up, we're on the road to Survivor right now. If we go back to Exhibition, I'm on Legendary Plus Plus. But I'm on the, on the, on the edge of surpassing Legendary Plus Plus and finally getting to that Survivor, Survivor ranking. I was going to say Survivor Series, but I mean Survivor. So we're on the road to Survivor, and I think our shortcut is going to be this PCC. And I'm happy it came at this time. I'm happy it is taking place right now instead of a couple weeks later. Because at this point in time, I do have a good amount of free time for me to actually play this and hopefully rank up high enough to where I can get a Survivor card. That's the plan right now for me to get a Survivor card. And if you look at the rewards, of course you've got Brock and Seth Rollins. On one side you've got Brock, which is a yellow upwards triangle. He's got a lot of power and he's got a lot of toughness. He's not so good on speed and charisma is so-so. And then you've got Seth Rollins, who's got, uh, he's got less power, he's got less toughness, but he's got a hell of a lot more speed, and he's got a little bit more charisma. At the end of the day, though, both Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar, if you add up the stats, they're both equal, and that, that goes for pretty much every PCC, or at least every PCC I've been in, the Randy versus, uh, what was it, Randy versus who? I don't remember who it was, it was Randy versus somebody, I think it was Chris Jericho, I don't know. <laughs> the Randy vs. Chris Jericho won, the Hogan vs. Andre won, all the PCCs I've competed in. Uh, the stats are different, but overall, if you add them up, the, the, the two top cards are equal. But this card is a blue uh, right triangle, so if you want to know which team I'm going to be on, I'm going to be on Team Seth Rollins. And you guys better be on Team Seth Rollins too. <laughs> you guys can pick whatever team you want. But I'm hoping more people pick Seth Rollins. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I'm thinking more people are going to pick the Brock Lesnar team just because it's Brock Lesnar. Maybe just because he's the champ. Or maybe because, I don't know, Roman Reigns is the secondary card you get after Brock. Uh, if you don't get Brock. Or actually, if you get you know top 5 ranking, then you get Brock and Roman Reigns. On the Seth Rollins side of things, if you get a top 5 ranking, you get Seth Rollins or two Seth Rollins cards. And a Sardust card, as I mean Sardust card, which is it's a, it's an odd pairing of cards. I mean, I don't know, uh, Brock and Re Roman Reigns. That makes sense. You know, they're both gonna face off at WrestleMania, but Seth Rollins and Stardust. I mean, why not Seth Rollins and I don't know, uh, John Cena or Dean Ambrose or uh, no, actually even better, Randy. Why not Seth Rollins and Randy? I think that would have been, been a better you know choice there to have a Seth Rollins Survivor card and a Randy Survivor card, because at WrestleMania, come on, let's be real here, Seth Rollins is probably going to face off against Randy. So, 
yeah, uh, I'm definitely going to pick the Seth Rollins team. I'm hoping most people also pick Seth Rollins because, of course, it doesn't matter. I, I can't, you know, win the match for, for the team. We, you, you know, the majority of the people have to be on Team Seth Rollins for us to get the Seth Rollins card. So, hey, if you're on the fence, if you don't know whether to pick Brock Lesnar or, or Seth Rollins, and, or, or maybe you don't care which one you pick, you just want to pick one, go ahead and pick Seth Rollins for me, please. I want to get that Seth Rollins card. Uh, I like Brock, but that Seth Rollins card will be more useful uh, for me. Obviously, you know, you do what's more useful for you. If you need a yellow triangle card more, then go ahead and pick, you know, the Brock Lesnar team. The reason why I want the Seth Rollins card is, for one, like I said, it's got the blue triangle instead of the yellow one, and it's got a lot more speed, and I feel I need a good a card with a lot of speed. Uh, speed cards are pretty useful. Actually, any card with, you know, a really high stat, like, for, for instance, the Rey Mysterio card, it's got a lot of speed. When I run into a Rey Mysterio card, like an Epic Pro Rey Mysterio card, and I have my Diamond uh, Randy card or the Diamond Hulk Hogan card, I get beat by the Rey Mysterio card if the match is won by speed. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, as far as Sardis and Roman Reigns, uh, I think the Sardis card actually has better stats. I'm not sure. I think so. I do know he's definitely got more charisma and speed, but as far as toughness and uh, power, Roman Reigns has the advantage, but uh, Seth Rollins beats him by a good amount in speed and charisma uh, to where the Stardust card overall, I think, is better than the Roman Reigns card. So that's another reason right there to pick the Seth Rollins team. And of course, you get the you know the support cards. What's what's this one? I didn't even check these. Uh, 100 plus to charisma on the Saffron side. That's good. And 55 plus to speed and plus 55 to charisma. That's good too. Uh, so that would give you a 110 boost, but also but of course divided between speed and charisma, not just one stat. So both really good you know support cards, of course. And these are support cards, right? Let me uh, I mean so survivor support cards. Yeah, survivor. Okay, so rank 25, you, it's the same thing, but instead of getting two of the top cards, you get one of them. And then from 26 to 65, you know, it's just you get one Seth Rollins or Brock and one Sardis or Roman Reigns. And then uh, Sardis, uh, Seth Rollins and Brock and Legendary Divas. And uh, this is, I think, where most people are going to try and aim at the 126 to 800 range where, where you're going to get either Seth Rollins or Brock Lesnar. Most of the time, uh, I aim for that. I aim for just, you know, enough to get one of the exclusive PCC cards. Uh, now, for me to get to the Survivor, C Survivor ranking, I keep trying to say Survivor Series. For me to get there, I think I could just get to the 851 to 1200, uh, 1200 rank and get, you know, Stardust and Roman Reigns. That'd be my first Survivor card. And then, of course, I'd get another one through Exhibition automatically. But I do want to, you know, speed things up. I want to, you know get as far as possible, so I want, I definitely want Brock or Seth Rollins, I'm not, I don't want to settle for, you know, a Reigns or Stardust card, and then after that, of course, it's it's Reigns and Stardust once again here, and then Legendary cards, um, uh, pretty much these rankings I do not care for, especially because uh, up, until, up to here, you're just getting one of the Legendary Divas card, you're not getting a pair. But here, I think this uh, this could be pretty good here. The uh, This ranking right here where you're getting two of these same Divas cards or you're getting a pair of cards. That could be useful, even for me, because I've got a Epic. I've got an Epic Pro AJ, so an Epic Pro Brie or an Epic Pro AJ would be great for me. But even greater, I believe, would be, of course, a Survivor card. So, yeah, uh, let's quickly scroll down here. All the rankings. So, you've got an Epic... Dolph and Big Show, Epic Dolphin, Big Show, Epic Dolphin, Big Show, Epic Dolphin, Big Show, Epic Dolphin, the Big Show, and Kofi, Rusev, Kofi, Rusev, uh, yeah, these rankings, not really looking to get these rankings, especially not the super rare cards and all of that, so, yeah, that's about it for the PCC, I am looking to get my first Survivor card this weekend, so this weekend, you can expect me, hopefully, to either get the Brock Lesnar one or the Seth Rollins one. Hopefully the Seth Rollins one. Come on. If you don't if you don't care which one to pick, pick the Seth Rollins card. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much it for that. I mean we know how to play and all of that, so yeah.
Brock versus Rollins in a few hours. I uh, will definitely be participating. I will be making my PCC return. And after that, I'll be looking to win a Road to Glory mode or, you know, get a Survivor card from that too. Which I haven't done yet. So far in Road to Glory, I really haven't bothered <laughs> getting too far. So, anyways, it's time for the King of the Ring reward. And as you can see here, I ended up in the semifinals. Why? Because there were two guys in this match that once I saw, you know, their cards, I was like, all right, I'm not winning against these guys. They're, these guys, if I run into them, I'm going to lose. So I was hoping to not run into the to either of these guys until the finals, because then I was sure I was going to get to the finals. Uh, if I didn't run into this guy, Amir, and another guy, hold on a second here. Uh, it's Sir Coco, no, uh, Sir Oko, Sir Oko, Oko, or whatever. So if I didn't run into these two, I would have made it to the finals, and then I would have been fine losing in the finals, because I would have still gotten, hold on a second, okay, I can't check the reward, uh, but I would have gotten, I believe, two legendary cards, or, and yeah, I think I would have gotten two legendary cards, but since I made it to the semifinals, instead I'm just getting one legendary card. No, actually, I think if you make it to the finals, but you lose, you get one legendary card and one support card, I believe. I'm not sure. I don't recall. But... If you guys check out the contenders bracket right here, and actually I wonder who won between these two guys. Oh, Amir won. Okay, so the guy that faced off against me ended up winning. But yeah, these two guys had some, you know, some better cards than me. Um, and also I couldn't use my usual technique in in this King of the Ring, so you know that didn't help out too much. As you can see here, uh, Siroko he had a legendary pro Eric Rowan. Of course, I wasn't gonna beat that. Um, and he had the tag team I could have been, uh, I mean, a super rare pro Eddie and a epic John Cena I could have been that. And then a legendary pro Big Show, I couldn't beat that, beat that either. And let's see here, uh, should I check game two? Okay, game two, he used like a common tag team. Uh, of course I couldn't beat that. I could beat that. And then of course Big Show and Eric Rowan once again. And, okay, so that's Sir Oko. And then if we check Amir... He had, well, let, let, actually, let's just check the match, you know, we, we played uh, when he faced off against me. So game one, uh, of course, like I said, his tag team, I could beat that. I beat the tag team, and I used all the boosts because I knew this guy, you know, he had better cards than me. Uh, so my only hope was him maybe not using his energy cards and also not using any boosts. But, you know, um, he, he still be, beat me. And as you can see here, a, le a legendary pro rock, no way was, it, was I going to beat that. And a legendary pro Undertaker, I was not going to beat that either. And at this point, I don't even think I was like, um, I was playing at this point. I wasn't paying attention. And either way, even if I was paying attention, I was going to lose this. Um, but, and also if you're wondering why I got so many losses here, as you can see, 20 losses. And that's because I was pretty lazy in this one. And I didn't use a lot of energy cards. I was just I was forgetting to use energy cards. Usually, you know, you're better you're better off using an energy card before you go to sleep. And I would just go to sleep and not use an energy card. So for for hours, I'd play matches where pretty much my cards had no health at all. So of course, I lost a lot of matches. Uh, but if I was you know using my energy cards and paying attention, I wouldn't have lost so, so many matches. But anyways, let's go ahead and check what the reward is for this King of the Ring. It's only one legendary card. I'm not expecting it to be Yokozuna. It, it might be though. Uh, who, who knows? Let's see. Let's see what we get. You guys ready? Actually, once again, in the comment section, I want you guys to let me know. Do you think it's going to be a Superstar leg legendary card or is it going to be a Divas legendary card? I'm going to give you guys five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I hope you guys posted up that comment. Let's go and claim the reward. And it's so oh, a legendary Daniel Bryan. Too bad I don't have a another legendary Daniel Bryan. That's a pretty cool card. And it's a blue, it's a blue triangle, so that's useful. Well, it, it would have been useful if I had a legendary Daniel Bryan, but unfortunately I don't have one. But uh yeah, so we got a legendary Daniel Bryan card. Okay. So that's it for this supercard video, and it looks like the People's Champion Challenge will take place in six hours and forty something minutes. So I'm definitely looking forward, well, I don't know if I'd say I'm looking forward to playing this because it is going to be time consuming, uh, but I'm looking forward to possibly getting a survivor card from it. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hey, let me know in the comments section which team are you on. Are you going to pick Team Brock Lesnar, or are you going to be fighting for Team Seth Rollins? You better pick Seth Rollins. Just kidding. But, uh, I'm out. See you guys.